Known as the Jewel of Ottawa, Illinois, Reddick Mansion stands proudly on the corner of Lafayette and Columbus Streets. This Italianate structure is one of the largest and grandest homes built in Illinois prior to the Civil War. Its construction was commissioned in 1855 for the then enormous sum of $25,000. Reddick Mansion is named after its owner, William Reddick, a key figure in early LaSalle County. During his lifetime, the Irish immigrant served in the county for decades as sheriff, business owner, farmer, state senator, and philanthropist. It took three years to construct William's mansion. The house was completed in 1858 and was used as a platform for citizens to view the first Lincoln-Douglas debate, which took place across the street in Washington Park. After his death in 1885, Reddick willed that his home be used as a public library. It served in this capacity until 1975. Over the past 162 years, exposure to weather has caused significant damage on the mansion's exterior. The wood along the mansion's 94 window frames has weakened with age. Toxic lead-based paint is chipping off the cornices, doorways, balconies, and windows. Various windows also have chips and cracks in their glass, which in turn result in interior heating and air conditioning being compromised. And on the east face balcony, rotting timber has made the platforms unsafe to walk on. In 2019, the Reddick Mansion Association commissions the start of a $1.4 million restoration of William Reddick's home. Heritage Restoration and Design Studio and BCA Architects are hired and begin an 18-month-long restoration project. The first step is to set up scaffold around the entire mansion. Now that all the floors are externally accessible, work begins on the 94 windows. Before removal, all windows are labeled and documented. Carefully, each window is then removed from the mansion. They are brought to Heritage's glass studio. Here, the vintage glass is separated from the frames and will be stored for reuse. The wood frames are weather-worn, requiring repairs and refinishing before they can be brought back to Reddick Mansion. Before any adjustments can be made to the wood, the old finish needs to be stripped away. Heritage's preservationists begin this process by applying a stripping compound to the surface of the wood. This chemical agent is wrapped in specialized material and left to sit for a full 24 hours. When it is removed, the compound easily takes away the layers of paint, exposing the original wood surface. Next, metal window hardware, such as weights and pulleys, are cleaned using similar processes. The frames then undergo repairs to any damages that have occurred over the years. Large missing sections of wood are replaced using the Dutchman method. Smaller gaps and holes are patched using wood restoration compounds. Sections that are too badly worn are replaced. Several cross channels receive new inserts to hold the glass more firmly. Any portion of a window frame that was repaired or replaced is coated in a sealant for stability. After the sealant cured, the frames are taken to Heritage's refinishing room. Here, they are painted in colors appropriate to the decor of their respective rooms. Back at Reddick Mansion, the cornices along the fourth floor are undergoing a refinishing process of their own. 
the plan is to strip the cracking lead-based paint and refinish the cornices in a gold color mentioned in the mansion's historic documentation. However, once the stripping process began, a red paint was discovered beneath the cream color on the decorative embellishments. Microscopic analysis and study of historic photographs determines that this red was part of the original house's design. In light of this revelation, the Reddick Mansion Association makes the decision for the red highlighting to be recreated along the entire perimeter. Back at Heritage Restoration, the vintage glass is reinstalled into the restored frames. After a final inspection, the windows are shipped back to the mansion. Here, they are reinstalled into the appropriate rooms with fresh weather stripping and hardware. The next portion of the project is the restoration of the exterior wooden doors. Most of these are taken to Heritage for a full refinishing process. If a door is too far gone to salvage, it is recreated and refinished to look like the originals. The main entrance doors and awning are treated on site with chemicals, stripped, neutralized, and repainted. With the windows, doors, and cornices completed, the last stage of Reddick Mansion's restoration is to repair the rotting east and south balconies. To restore such decaying woodwork, sensitive techniques are required. As such, it was decided to remove all the balcony components from the mansion and take them back to Heritage for a finishing. While as much of the wood as possible is salvaged, a new, stronger support structure is created for the east balcony. With the rot being severe, several of the components were unusable and needed to be refabricated. These parts will be finished to seamlessly match the originals. Once they dry, the components are taken back to Reddick Mansion and installed on both faces. The restored balconies are as poignant as ever, but much more stable. After 18 months, Heritage's restoration of Reddick Mansion is complete. The restored wood breathes life back into the historic structure without the loss of its authenticity. On all sides, the 94 cleaned windows glisten in the sunlight. As is befitting a defining feature of Italianate homes, the cornice's fresh paint job truly catches the eye. The renewed jewel of Ottawa can be seen to this day on the corner of Lafayette and Columbus Streets. We invite you to visit this historic home and immerse yourself in history.